A lot of stuff is happening that we're not seeing in the United States. So the South Koreans are launching test missiles, uh, doing bombing runs, uh, televising this. The center of gravity of this is really the population in South Korea. So uh, South Korea's response and their uh, strong face to the north is very important. That's what really is uh, the center of gravity, and that's, the, uh, that, that's really the target for Kim's efforts. Uh, we've got to keep the pressure on China. We need to bring Russia into this. We know Russia's been uh, communicating and working with North Korea, and they have probably assisted their missile development program. So why should Russian firms and Russian individuals escape attention on this? Japan's reaction is very important, and Japan should be strengthening its, uh, its anti-missile defenses at this point. Uh, and we have to consider what we can do in the non-lethal category as well. So we could, uh, there's been a lot of talk about cyber. Maybe that's already been done. We don't know how much has been done, and frankly, uh, we don't want publicly to know. Uh, we know we can shut down a lot of the North Korean communications. We can shut down electric power. We can shut down their uh, early warning air defense networks. We can do a lot of these things, but we don't necessarily want to do them on a routine basis. We don't want to disclose all of our capabilities to the North. So uh, behind the scenes, we're sort of looking at how we ratchet up a response. And privately, we should be considering what is it that really is intolerable for us? Is it the firing of missiles at Guam or in the direction of Guam? And if so, are we going to permit that to happen? So uh, we're in a real cat and mouse game in terms of how we look at North Korea. How much warning do we have of their test launches? How much do we know about the direction and the type of missile that's going to be test fired? And what are our soft kill capabilities to be able to disrupt such a launch on command, on demand, uh, if we have to do so? You, do, you agree more with the president then than, than with his uh, recently departed uh, chief strategist who, who said because there could be tens of hundreds of thousands, perhaps casualties, if, if there were any type of military option, that that's not actually on the table. You believe that it, it might actually be something that, that needs to be done eventually. I, I mean, I, we just had a gentleman on saying that it wasn't our fault that he launched this missile, but we, that, that we didn't respond to some of his um, entreaties for negotiations recently. We continued with the, the, the uh, you know, the exercises over there when he gave us an opportunity. And we, we could have gotten him not to do this. But then I, I, it just seems like the longer we do that, he's building up the, cap the nuclear capability. And it's like we're not, sooner or later, it's still going to happen unless we deal with it. And that's, what, that's been our MO for the past, you know, for decades now. And you seem to think maybe we need to deal with it before we deal with something absolutely horrific in Guam or even on the mainland. Well, I think you have to have a short-term response and you have to also look at the long term. So I, I, I think that you've got to be able to work behind the scenes. We should be trying to talk to North Korea. Uh, we should be talking to them very explicitly. If we have to talk to them through China or through Russia, we should do that. So uh, that should be going on behind the scenes got to work with the allies, but you also have to be prepared at some point. Uh, if the North persists in ratcheting this up, you can't sit back and do nothing. So at some point there is, and we don't want it publicized, but at some point the United States is going to take some kind of action when it becomes uh, threatening to people and populations and to our uh, national credibility. Right. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.